does not have that extensive tennis background that a lot of the players have. And the lob doctor gets one in early. And it proves very effective. Yeah, and with that finger, it's not like a yes or no. He gets a bit more stability, less reach, and less power uh, with that particular grip that he uses. And Big H said, don't you worry about having to hit this next ball. I am there. The other thing you'll see is he serves here again. Baseball background, infielder, pitcher, comes from the side. So you see almost a side winding pitcher with the way he delivers this serve. Just stay right in there. There we go. Start, my goodness. Yeah, and, and Tyler Loom doesn't do as much as some other players with his dinks, but he is very consistent yeah. with him, with them. Wow, that skids off the tape, and the last thing you want to do is call timeout before you've even touched the ball, but we are in danger of being there. It is five straight. Okay, a little error on the shortstop right there. <laughs> yeah, and it is wild that he doesn't have a tennis background given who his parents no are, kidding. and we'll discuss that later. Yes, yeah, Steve Dawson, his dad, uh, unbelievable tennis player, Oklahoma Boomer. Sooner. And uh, Jen Dawson, uh, Pickleball Hall of Famer, but unbelievable tennis player. Yeah! And uh, it's, it's Poach Saturday 2024 here. Flying around. I'm loving the pace of play and, and the athleticism on full display from the ladies and the fellas. Start it all. Um, you guys go ahead and get five, and we're going to get at least four. Let's crank up the scoreboard. My goodness. Lead evaporated. Gets tagged on the shoulder, and we've had two servers. It's 5 5. Yeah, I mean, points always come quickly in runs in pickleball, but the time, I mean, we're talking 45 seconds a minute. There could be three on the board. Oh, my goodness. That, that never gets missed. I mean, that was very juicy after a nice setup from Connor Garnett. That little half speed enjoying every minute of it. Yeah, it's uh, something to behold here for these players. So, 11 of the fastest points you'll ever see in a semifinal. And uh, the Tui school is still alive and very well. What a shot from Garnett. Oh, I thought he missed it. Incredible from Connor. Three servers, 13 points. Patrick Quinn has not served yet. Wow, 
That's a ball off the tape that tags Loom. My goodness. And he, he was channeling his inner Lucy Kovalova in a minute there, too. Came charging across. Finally got to serve, and they, of course, scored when he did. Right, and uh, I mean, I'm not going to fault anyone for pulling triggers because no. the uh, the offense has been so electric. Maybe last tournament, I would have questioned Tyler Lung's decision, but the the risk reward is there, and the percentages are in all of the offensive players' favor right now. What a finish and an angle there, and. Uh, it is now 7-8. Nice little inside out little punch. Yeah, and he's he's got a he's got a good one. And when you have that side spin tailing away from your opponent, it really uh, helps to finish the point and create errors from your counterparts. Zena Allen Roman and Chris Johnson are our referees. And two quick miss thirds, so the first rotation where no damage was done. That's exactly what we saw, and it was very good. So after a stunning two side outs in a row, we got points back. Yeah, and a uh, nice spot there as Callan Dawson sits pretty heavy on the backhand side for his counters. So Tyler Loon getting it over to the far side of his body was a good spot. And once again, it's that lefty Tyler Loon forehand somehow getting it to the right shoulder of Callan Dawson. Quickly to game point here. Seven, Garnett and Loon, what'd you like? The official ball of the PPA Tour. Didn't even touch the ball and then 
just said enough and that was impressive. Can they keep it going. Yeah I think they just just have to find a way uh, Dawson and Patrick Quinn to get Hayden more involved. So uh, of course it's dangerous but maybe uh, you know a handful of dinks up the line from Callan to Connor Garnett to bring it back over to Hayden Hayden but you got, you're playing with fire with that two handed backhand of Connor. It's never easy David. No. That's why it's chestnut checkers. How do you problem solve. Santa Clara Bronco tennis star just destroyed that overhead lob doctor get out of here <laughs> you need a different prescription. Yeah and he just a little too much air underneath that one if it gets too high of course you have to get it over the player at the kitchen but if it gets too high with the athleticism of these guys they're going to come up with it. a nice read from Tyler Loon. As soon as he picked it up off of his shoe tops, he beelined to the right spot. And once again, inside out forehand from him. Yeah, and Hayden beat Tyler Loon on that speed up. But his buddy had his back. Connor Garnett closing to the middle very nicely with his forehand. First volley. Just demolished right back at Connor Garnett. <laughs> and he kind of just shook yeah. his head and put the thumbs yeah. up and just like, ah, I took it. Yeah. Wow, just stuck with only a tweener to get that back. Much better handle there from Callan Dawson. Yeah, initial counter attack from him, and it was his anticipation and being his paddle being in the right spot that made the difference. A little flick and then good night. Yeah. And the dink from Tyler Loon was into a pretty good spot. So nice job by Patrick in getting it out of the air, flipping it with that incredible wrist that he has and putting away the next ball. Sure, but nice footwork from Callan Dawson to not push off out of the kitchen after that awkward overhead. So the 18 year old has indeed gotten more involved, that being Patrick Quinn. Yeah, that's a tough spot there to go with the forehand. I like Callan moving forward aggressively, but look for a forehand in that position. His ability to get out of the way of stuff, and I know that was a weird one off the tape, but still. Yeah, fast, fast twitch athlete for sure. Two, three, one. And even attacking off the bounce. Yeah. That's what everybody's doing, so he's going to do it. Right, and it well, it's and it's the right decision for Patrick Quinn to take that calendar with the forehand, but just a little late on his swing. And uh, 
I know, I know people love to talk about the NFL as a copycat league, and we've seen offense early in 2024, and you're exactly right. Why not work it into your game, even if it hasn't been a great part of your game before? just slightly to the middle. Well, and he needs to be because of that offense that Tyler's created in the middle, and then he pairs the quality dink with that offense. So this is quite a first tournament run so far here for Garnett and Loon. Can they take it all the way to championship Sunday? They're up a game and a point here. two-handed backhand from Connor Garnett, who swings just as hard as the third shot drive on his first volley. There wasn't even disguise on there. He's like, I'm going to get this down on the ground. I don't think you can handle it. And that's exactly right. And he went with more spin than pace, and that forced the counterattack from Callan to sail. today across the board. Yeah, a few and far between with those points, but these guys can do it if they need to. First point, but they did make an adjustment and switch and put Hayden Patrickman over on the right. We'll see if that holds or that they switch back, and it looks like they're going to stay. And that even skids off the tape, and one that's hit that hard usually goes deep, but no. Not for that team right now. It's all working. It's a nice counterattack from Hayden Patrick win and just mi yeah, mixing up the patterns. Even if you only maybe you're getting a slight advantage from it, it's going to mess up what your opponents are doing. for a title point right here. Oh, he had the walk off that he wanted and caught the tape. Yeah, that 
was probably one of the easier uh, poaches that he had throughout this match, and he's, he's made the more difficult ones. Second chance to close this out. Everybody, the first of two semifinals went to Wilson and Alshon, and then Connor Garnett and Tyler Loon. So impressive here on Humana Championship Court. They join us now, and Connor, I'll start with you. People may have forgotten, but guess what? The first five points literally played went the other way, and you hadn't even touched the ball yet, and then you win 22 of the last 27 points. Were you guys talking about it? How do you get mentally okay after an onslaught like that to start with? Yeah, I mean, they came out hot. Uh, credit to them. I don't even think we were playing bad. They played some really good points, and we just stuck in there, had our game plan. We stuck to it. It started working there at the end, and... Uh, that game plan was tried and true, and we were able to win a comfortable amount of the rest of the points there with it. So just stoked to be in Champ Sunday. Yeah, so uh, Tyler, how do you get a new team to gel so well so quickly? What, did, what, what do you owe that to here? Uh, luckily, we were able to figure out this tournament. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago, we figured out that neither of us had partners for this, and so we were able to sign up for this, and uh, here we are. We're in uh, the finals, so super excited for that. Connor's a great player, and... It's fun to play with him. Yeah, let me ask a follow-up because fans always ask this. Did you guys practice it all together? Did you work out strategically? What do you do well? What do I do well? Or did you just dive into the pool here? I think we pretty much dove right into the <laughs> pool. I mean, Connor said, I only need five minutes, and most people who know me know I don't like to warm up too much, and so it, it, it's a match made in heaven. Um, I keep going back on this, but I like my Ernie. Connor likes his backhand, and I like my forehand in the middle, so it's pretty tough if we're playing well. Yeah, you guys are playing terrific. Uh, so, Connor, I'll ask you the same question. I asked Thomas Wilson, congrats to you. You are in two finals tomorrow. That is one heck of an accomplishment. Congrats. How do you make sure that you bring your A game to both of those? What are you going to do between this moment now and tomorrow when you hit Humana Championship Court tomorrow on Sunday? Yeah, a lot of preparation. I'm definitely going to get in the ice bath tonight. Uh, body's definitely feeling it, but just stoked to be out there two Sundays. I mean, that's all the adrenaline I need to get out there is just knowing that I'll be in front of the fans and uh, competing for some golds and uh, having some fun out there. Well, boys, you put on quite a show. Congratulations. Very well earned, and uh, we look forward to calling your match tomorrow. Folks, Tyler Loom, Connor Garnett, they're going to play for a title tomorrow. Thanks, guys.